guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to i was gonna say a brand new vlog but i've just realized this is gonna be my last kind of like autumny themed well it's not necessarily autumn themed but you know like last vlog with all the christmas content which i'm excited for but i'm also like sad because autumn is my favorite time of the year sorry i'm trying to find my mascara this like little mini Too Faced one I'm gonna go in with today. I'm excited for Christmas, but I'm sad that like the autumny content, I mean, I know we're still in autumn officially for a while yet, yeah, but let's face it, November in this industry is Christmas. We're on to Christmas content already. So my next videos are all gonna be my Christmas gift guides, which I was working all day on yesterday i've got so much content to bring you for my christmas gifting that um yeah it felt a bit alien because it was still quite warm we've had a really warm october haven't we um so yeah this is going to be my final halloween autumn themed vlog before we jump in with the gift guides and then it'll probably be more festive shopping festive content Christmas decorations, all of that kind of good stuff. Um, and it just, I'm actually shocked at how quick this year's gone. It doesn't feel like yesterday that we were hosting Christmas. And no, it does feel like yesterday we were hosting Christmas. And we're already thinking about it again this year. We're being controversial this year. We had a lamb roast last weekend and we're thinking about maybe doing lamb for christmas dinner we're hosting for seven people this year christmas eve christmas day and boxing day so yeah we were thinking lamb that mascara's fallen down a little bit the only thing with two faced is it does do that i love the mascara i love the wand but sometimes it does produce a bit of fallout, so maybe I don't love it as much as I thought I did. Uh, anyway, what else are we gonna go in with? Just a little bit of powder, I think, today. Um, the Laura Mercier one, as always. A good classic. A bit of lip gloss, or lip balm, I should say. And we're good. I'm wearing a nice cozy jumper today from Pretty Lavish. It's like a high neck, quite long. I'll show you in a second. I'll stand up so that you can see. It's like a high neck. It's got this like slit details on the sleeves and on the side. And I've just got, cause I'm just having like a very wholesome chill day today. I've got these leggings on from Lululemon, the burgundy ones that I picked up from Cheshire Oaks, just some cozy socks. And I think we're going to start this morning with heading over to uh, the markets at Wilmslow. We have, um, just have a quick browse and then we'll take Mr. down there <laughs> out for a W. And then Tom is actually going away. So we've got a solo afternoon pretty much most of the day today. He's going away with work this evening so i'm i don't i don't know what we're gonna vlog today we're gonna maybe have a bit of halloweeny content in terms of i want to get the bags prepped and ready for halloween which i will show you guys and i want to i might even have a cozy evening like a bit of a bath maybe a bit of a scary movie there's a movie that i really want to watch with channing tatum and called blink twice although i don't know how i feel about watching a scary movie by myself do I wait till Tom gets back to watch that or do I watch it tonight? I just watch it tonight. It's meant to be really good and I feel like it's the kind of movie that I am gonna really enjoy and I love Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, I remember, was my first like celeb crush. I remember him in She's the Man. I just, I was like, yeah. Yes, so love Channing Tatum. So, but a bit of a different role for him, I think, with this one. So it'll be interesting to watch that. So I might watch that this evening maybe get some halloween snacks out i've got loads in the cupboard so i'll show you that oh in fact i did see on tiktok today especially with tom being away maybe i'll order myself some a delivery for dinner 
Nando's have brought out Fanta Chicken. Have you seen that? I think it was like a collaboration with Beetlejuice or something. So maybe we'll give that a try today. But first stop, let's head to Wilmsland Markets and go grab a coffee, grab some breakfast, have a bit of a walk and then jump into getting organized, clean and tidy. Um, sorting the Halloween bags out and seeing where the rest of the day takes us. Hello. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore. Hello, no, no. I reach through mysterious ceilings. My holy hope. Go swimming. This way. I look for the things I don't know. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. Back home, and I've just come home to this parcel, guys. Just opened the top, I don't know what's inside yet, but I can see that the tissue paper is from LMS. And uh, you guys know I love the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I know everyone raves about it, but honestly, it's just such a lovely product. So. Let's dive in and see what they've sent me. Here we go, here's a little note. Dear Freya, as the clocks go back, is that this weekend? Maybe it is. As the clock goes, clocks go back, here are the self-care essentials for those cozy evenings ahead with love, LMS. Thank you so much to the team at LMS for sending me this. Guys, they sent over the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I like I said, I love this. I have the fig one on the go at the minute, the green one. Um, I think this one, yeah, this one is my favourite. They do like a rose one as well, but honestly, the best, ooh, the best product that I must do, hands down. They do such a lovely skincare, but that Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, incredible. For taking off makeup or just as a first cleanse, feels lovely and luxurious. Okay, they've also sent over a candle. So we could get this burning. I might actually pop this in my bathroom for like a nice cozy bath at some point this evening or later on or tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have a bath yet tonight. Oh, that smells nice. That's what it looks like. I love the color of that as well. That'll go really well in my bathroom. It's in lavender, chamomile and geranium. Oh, speaking of chamomile, I might make myself a tea. I feel like I'm craving one. I do have chamomile, but I might have the plum and cinnamon ones that I got from Wittard. Anyway, they've also sent over a calming spray. I like to use these when I do, if like if I do yoga or something, like an at-home yoga if I get my yoga mat out, or meditation or some kind of relaxing time, even in bed. Keep this by your bedside. Calming space spray. Well-being and pillow mist. Yeah, it's nice to go on your pillow. So shape for use mist onto the surrounding area and onto pillow allowed to dry. Oh, that's quite different to any others that I own. I've got the neon one, um, which I like, but this one's quite, it's different. It's nice though. Love that. Then also this Superfood Midnight Facial. I have never tried this before. I've tried the Superfood range, but I've never tried this Midnight Facial. So it's a replenishing sleeping cream for all skin types. I did use last night the Cicaplast uh, La Roche-Posay cream, which I bought initially for, uh, it's meant to be really good for using here on your pores. Like if you have quite large pores, and it's quite like thick and intense. Now I saw someone on Instagram using it all over their face the other day and I thought, oh, let me try that. I've only ever tried it as like an intense, just on my pores. And I woke up this morning and as soon as I looked in the mirror, when I went to the bathroom, I was like, whoa, what's happened to my skin? Like it looked super smooth. And then I remembered for the first time ever, I used that all over my face. So it really does work. So 
I mean, we'll give this a try, but I just wanted to mention that because it was one of those like instant, I've noticed something different. So I'll leave that one linked as well if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Sick Plus one. And then also we've got in here from Elemis a skin nourishing milk bath skin softening bathing milk oh yeah we've really got our products set up for oh wow that's like that smells like baby powder so fresh so nice um got ourselves set up for a lovely cozy evening now i wanted to well I'll pop that in the recycling um but i wanted to get set up the Halloween bags that I was mentioning that I've got. I'll take them outside in just a second. Um, I'll, I can't actually remember what I bought. Just kind of had them in this bag in the kitchen cupboard. Well, in fact, the car, the little bags aren't in here now. Where are they? Okay, we found them. So what I'm going to do is I've got these eight party bags, well actually 16 in total, and for all the neighbours kids I'm going to do a bit of like a full on party bag rather than just like one sweet because I always remember Halloween in America was so good and we just don't do it the same here in England. Um, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I used to live in America when I was about 14 so I was kind of a bit on the older side of trick or treating. I think they actually, they have like rules and regulations out there. I think first and foremost, if your porch light is on, then you're welcoming trick or treaters, which is like the best rule ever. Um, secondly, I think the limit, age limit is around 13. So obviously like some people, like I was 14, we still did it, but we had, I had a younger sibling. So the, it's relaxed. Um, there were always like police patrolling the area, just like make sure everyone's okay. There was time limits on it as well. I think it was like any time between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. or I think it was, or maybe like eight, I can't remember, but I know that it was like, there was a cut off time. It was very regulated and structured and everyone did trick or treating. It was like a big thing. Um, and I always remember we, like our first year there, we, got our little trick or treat bag that was probably like double the size of this like a, a little bucket like we have in England a little trick or treat bucket and we got out and we went around just our little cul-de-sac so maybe three houses four houses and it was full already so you don't just get like one little chocolate bar everyone's like handfuls of stuff like so we had to go back and get a pillowcase because we couldn't do trick or treating with this one piddly little bag. So the fact that it was like so exciting for the kids because you got so much candy and everyone dressed up, like everyone went to town on the dressing up. Everyone that you knocked on the door of was fully dressed up, like the adults were dressed up. Everyone's porches were so cool. And they had the porches that were better suited to the, the like teenagers, whereby you'd have to, go into the garage and there'd be strobe lights and a bit of a walk through and there'd be a like scary clown sat there with the candy bowl that you had to go into and they'd make you jump and it was just like smoke machines it was full on you just don't do it like that in England so this is my little American touch in terms of rather than one little sweet I thought I would fill up some party bags and to be honest with you 16 we probably won't have any more than that but any extra, any excess, I'll just have like a bowl um, of some bits. So yeah, how cute. They're from TK Maxx and I got them, I got them a while ago, but they'll still have things like this in, I would have thought, in time for if you're wanting to get some bits for, for Christmas, for Halloween to do the same thing. Um, so yeah, the, I've just got a mixture of things. I've got some chocolate lollies. I've got some like sweet lollies. I've got some mini chocolate bars, all of these. And then a load of Snickers, Mars. These were all from B&M. Now I've got this. Now I've not actually used this. I bought this for myself to have. Uh, this little pumpkin, mellows and gummies. But I had some other partial partial mellows 
pumpkin marshmallows that I've been using for my hot chocolates. And so I figured rather than open this full bag, I might just take off the price and just include that in one of the bags as well. Because I actually don't think I'm going to get around to, to having it. Seeing as though we're pretty much on to the Christmas stuff now. So let's get going, shall we? I might even do a bit of a Q&A whilst we do this. Because I did ask, a, I popped up a question box uh, the other day for a previous video I was going to do it for. And I am... Um, I'm just going to be this. When your parents start spelling words out. Go for a W. A-L-K. He needs a B-A-T-H. It just says B-R-B. Trying to decide what D-I-N-N-E-R means. <laughs> um, oh, guys, look at this. Barney went to daycare yesterday. And they've got a new puppy has joined and he is also called Barney and he's also a golden retriever oh god <laughs> my heart so cute look at them all lined up in the sand pit I've done something to my phone whereby if I tilt it now it doesn't change how do I put that back on because oh here we go is that it I know that's screen mirroring I need to figure out how to do that because it's kind of annoying me that I can't tilt my phone like that and it changed. But anyway. This photo of them all lined up, all the retrievers. Uh, okay, yeah. So I asked to put up a question box on my Instagram um, a while back for... I was going to include a little bit of a Q&A segment within a vlog and I never did because it ended up being really long but i thought we could do that whilst we get these bags all sorted okay how fun if your current one isn't your forever home what does your dream forever home look like so i actually have a pinterest vision board of which it's private so you can't actually see it. it's just like a personal kind of thing to aspire to a bit like well you know just like a standard vision board but rather than having it um physically in front of me in person i just think pinterest is a nice easy way to create one and i have on there saved and it's always been like i just can visualize it in our future is a like a georgian style property now whether or not it's actually georgian or it's more of a new build that's made to look like georgian whether we build it like i don't know but i love the whole symmetrical grand georgian look to a building so honestly a dream dream home would be something like that really tall ceilings i love the fact that this house has tall ceilings but i'm thinking even taller um fully like enclosed and safe for barney to run around future dogs if i was to ever get any future pups um and yeah so i would say like a georgian style property is like my dream with big sash windows if you could redo any part of the reno what would you change there's definitely parts to this renovation that we would change uh for one there's a couple of rooms that i would do in a different paint color which obviously i can easily change so that's fine um I would obviously like initially we were like just get everything white let's just get it done get it in live with it for a bit and then decide on colors so at some stage maybe that to have some different because i love the color of our bedroom for instance which is beige lick oh no sorry lick paint in beige 01 um so i love that so maybe bring some color throughout the house or color like neutral color rather than just white i would have done my bathroom differently um i love the tiles that i went for however i think because it's quite a small space i would have tiled the entire bathroom i think and you can't we can't get that tile anymore so we can't there's no way of doing that so i would have changed that i also don't think i would have gone for the brushed gold hardware that i have in there i really like in here how we've got like an antiqued gold rather than a brushed gold which is still quite yellowy so that i would have changed 
Um, is there anything else that we would change? Maybe the utility space. I love the dog wash station down there. But I, I think it needs a bit more character, a bit more panelling. But that's stuff that I can add. Oh gosh, I can't open this. I have to have a uh, think maybe on anything that I regret. Oh, I wouldn't have done the black room black, which I kind of didn't want to do anyway. I'd sort of mentioned it and showed images to Tom from Pinterest and he loved it. So by the time it came round to actually painting that front room, um, I would have gone for uh, like a dark green or like a muddy green, a bit like the green in our downstairs low. I love that color. But Tom was like, no, 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 I really liked the black and we just went with it, with it. and even he now says, oh, maybe I would have gone for like a different color as well. But again, that's things that we can change. There's lots of, would you get another dog? I don't think I would. I know, I, I thought by now originally when I had Barney that I would have had a second by now. I thought by the time he gets to about two, maybe three, and he's nearly four, I would have had a second and, and probably another golden retriever another boy but he is just so easy and puppy days are hard and i just remember like thinking oh god this is so tough <laughs> honestly it was hard and he is such a good boy now that everything is so easy with him and that's the one thing that i feel like i would lose that so for instance, going to John Lewis, going to a cafe, going nipping to Starbucks, I take him everywhere with me, everywhere that's dog friendly. But if I had two of them, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I selfishly like him being with me a lot and I think if I had two, I wouldn't be able to do it. So I think I would have a second and I would definitely um, get another one, but I just don't think I would do it whilst we are in this house so yeah for now i'm happy with just the one lots of questions about kids do you want kids and i know a lot of people get a bit um funny about this question people don't like it and i can kind of see why i mean i, I can see why people would get um a bit uh i don't know not like being asked that question but i don't mind it is what it is and i just each time i give the same answer of Maybe, never say never, maybe. If it happens, it happens kind of attitude with us. We're not the sort of people that have been desperate to try for a big family. I think if we were, we would have had to start trying by now because I am 32, Tom is 35. And yeah, I don't think I would rule it out. I think there was a time that I maybe would have said never. Um, but I don't know I just we really like our lifestyles the way that we have it and we're quite busy with you know like we've kind of chosen our careers as a bit of a priority and that's just the way that it's been so maybe one day maybe who knows <laughs> but you guys will know so don't worry <laughs> I would definitely bring you along in that journey if it was to happen because the other thing is obviously you never know if we start to try and you might not be able to so got these goodie bags oh, filling up already i'm kind of jealous maybe keep a couple of treats out for ourselves and put a couple of those in the uh, magic stars while they're a throwback yeah, might keep some of them out and put them in our treat jar. Oh, I'm definitely keeping the bounties. The old kids won't like them anyway. They're a controversial one. Would you recommend home yoga classes? Yes, we had a course and that course came to an end and I actually do miss it. I think we would do it again, but it's the sort of thing that encourages you with having it every week to actually do it. Because if I'm honest, I haven't done it every week since. So you do kind of fall out of the habit when you've not got someone turning up definitely recommend it. I like the fact that it's kind of like a one-to-one, -one, a bit more personal, so that if you wanted to, you could, um, like if you've got any questions about certain moves or if you've got injuries, then it is really good for that. If you weren't a digital creator, what would you have chosen? I would have loved to work with animals, I think. I mean, even the way his daycare is run, I'm just like, oh, that is just so dreamy. 
uh, or like in a dog shelter or something like that. I just have a soft spot for animals at my heart. Where are you spending Christmas this year? Plan is to be here and plan is to host. Did you do any digital marketing, marketing courses to kickstart my career? No, I just, everything that I do here on YouTube in terms of creating content, it's all kind of like just self-taught from watching YouTube videos. Um, I use iMovie to edit my videos. I use InShot on my phone to edit like Instagram content, Instagram reels and things. And I use my, predominantly, the one that I'm filming on now, my camera is the Canon G7X Mark II, which I believe is discontinued. So it's really hard to get hold of. I hope they're bringing it back as it was, because I know they brought out a Mark III and I never got it, but I know a lot of content creators didn't like it. Not a question, just wanted to say a thank you sir for such lovely vlogs. You're very welcome, thank you for watching. Do you change skincare for winter and autumn? I change my skincare routine all the time. I feel like doing this as a career is is good in that you get to try loads of new products that you get sent, hence the Elemis delivery there. But it means that I try out loads of new products all the time. It's not to say like if I change to another one that I don't like, the one that I currently used, um, or I'm currently using, it's just purely just having the opportunity to try new things. Uh, for instance, my collagen uh, liquid capsules that I get from Vida Glow that I love, they are something that was sent to me in PR. I would have probably never thought to buy them, but having tried them and loved them, I have now since become a customer of them. So it, it swings and roundabouts. I could easily stick with what I know, but I also like the fact that I'm given the opportunity to try out new products. So yeah, my skincare routine changes all the time in terms of products. If I were to ever strip it back, so if I'm having problematic skin, I just go back to basics with a micellar water to remove my makeup and then, it, and then a second cleanse with like Elemis Cleansing Balm or um, the Abaji one is really good if you have, uh, it's called Abaji Cleansy Derm if you have acne or prone to acne it's got salicylic acid in it or the paula's choice salicylic acid toner is really good for that as well uh, and then for moisturizer it's not meant to be that great for you but the nivea one just a good old classic you can use face body hands um or the what other moisturizer do i like i love spf as well and i like the ultraviolet one for my morning i kind of use that as my moisturizer in the morning but yeah, a simple cleanse, tone and moisturise, and that's it. What other moisturise do I like? Oh, the one that I've been loving currently, the, what's it called? Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, the one in the purple pot. So nice, I really, really am enjoying using that. It's just expensive. And I just don't wanna have to like, spend that much money on skincare, but it's really good and I do really like it. I'm gonna pop these um, in the pantry, pop them away, and I'm gonna pop these in our treat jar because, yeah, we've gotta save a few treats for ourselves. And when I say treat jar, it's an actual bowl that I've got over here. Lovely. Right, time to unload the dishwasher. I need to pop on a wash load, get some houseworky bits done. bright blue skies out there now so I kind of feel guilty being indoors when it's like this but maybe we'll just go out for another W A L K later on I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea I just want to say Real. Maybe we should hurry up and see all the deal. I 
just wanted to pop my boots on only because they're here otherwise it'd be uh, my crocs but they're by the front door and just show you guys quickly a bit of an update on our outdoor kitchen just so that you can see how we're looking this is the garden like i said to you before it is just the leaves are dropping like crazy hey bernie um they are getting sorted tomorrow i believe because yeah can you see that big pile of leaves over there it all needs to be sorted out a bit of a kind of like builder situation here but this is how the building is currently looking it is all rendered now on the outside so as you can tell oops um as you can tell this white render that we've gone for is the same as the render over here on the back of the house that kind of is quite seamless the inside though is like a smooth finish and obviously you won't be able to see there there's just a few areas that need finishing off in fact these are here are for spotlights that are going to go in just because these lights that we had put in the window lights they don't really let that much light in obviously a bit of natural light but we definitely at night time will need a bit more light in here um if it gets dark and we're still using it so this is what the fireplace is looking like we got all these reclaimed bricks to kind of semi-match the uh bricks over here we couldn't use these ones because they had to be like specific fire bricks to be used for this fire so the metal kind of structure that you get for the fire tom is going to be ordering as i've mentioned before as well the gosney oven is actually going to be going inside here so we're going going to pop that on this surface we're going to get this kind of concrete uh polished up and just use the concrete as a work surface we're going to have a stainless steel sink put in here that's what the sink waste is for uh, electrics have all been done first fix for a socket and switch over there and also over here log storage is going to go underneath here and then we're going to have these with i think wooden doors on um i was thinking like maybe galvanized metal type doors or something but originally i looked at wood and tom also prefers wood so i think we're going to stick with that um but then the metal kind of stainless steel sink gosney there I'm thinking maybe some open shelves up here. So if I stand back, you'll be able to see a kind of shelved area for like, I don't know, crockery pots. It's fairly well covered. I mean, obviously we're not having doors on here, so we'll see how weathered it gets. We need to have with this wooden doors. That's why I'm thinking maybe metal. I've just realized it's because it's so close to the outside that obviously if rain comes in this way, it might ruin the wood doors. So we either have to have something specific or maybe think again. I'll mention that to Tom as well when he's back, um, just as a reminder to myself. And then this section, we're still kind of like undecided on what to do. So for now, we're just keeping it nice and open so that we have a bit of flexibility, kind of live with it a bit and see how we feel, whether or not we want to add some more shelves, units for storage, or if we actually want to maybe pop a little just two seated table and chairs in here for Tom and I to use, even like a little bench we could do with some more shelves again, or keep it nice and open and have like a butcher's block that we can have here, which we can also wheel out in the middle so that Tom can use it for extra kind of cooking work surface space, because obviously kind of limited with work surface space over here. Um, so yeah. But that is how it's currently looking. The inside finish that we're going to go for is something very similar colour to what the actual plaster looks like. It's just like a stone kind of colour. Um, so I think we're going to render it because you can still see, I don't know if you can see there, the builder's block. So it needs like, well that's the, I think this is the final layer of like pre-render and then they render over the top of it and then you just paint the render. So initially we'll just get it all the same white render and then if we want to do a kind of lime wash finish I think we have to do that afterwards so that again could be something that we maybe think about in future but for now this is how it's currently looking for those of you that wanted a little update what are you doing hiding behind there <laughs> you just found a little sunspot hey we can go for a walk now if you want to yeah oh that's a good yawn that's a big yawn you love sunbathing, don't you? You love it. I ordered some lunch off the delivery room. Now, I was gonna do this for dinner, but I remembered for tonight, 
I have this pasta that I really want to eat. It looks so delicious and it's definitely one that I don't think Tom would have. Oh, ten seconds. Someone's at the door again. Anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, I've got this pasta that I really want to have tonight. I don't think Tom would have it. So the fact that he's not here, this is an opportunity for me to have it. It's tiny. It's just like a little bag of this ravioli with pumpkin and ricotta. Sounds amazing. So I'm going to have that later. But I thought for lunch, we could give the fancy chicken a try. I think it's just chicken wings that they do. Um, I hope it's not spicy. Can you see it's made with Fanta? Let's have a look. I mean, they look like chicken wings. <laughs> oh, they're very orange actually. They don't smell like Fanta. I get a side of fries as well, just to go with them. But, let's do a little taste test, shall we? I'm gonna go with the most orange looking one. But I can't, can't smell Fanta at all. Quite sweet, although it is used with Fanta Zero, I think. I'm not getting like Fanta. <laughs> hmm. I like them. They're also not very um, spicy, which is good. I don't understand how people do like mukbangs and eating, especially something like wings. <laughs> and while I have my lunch, I've decided I am gonna pop on the movie Blink twice. I think because it's a potential thriller horror situation, because I'm by myself, if I watch it now, I know it's not giving horror vibes, thriller vibes with it being middle of the day, but I'm not gonna be freaked out tonight going to bed. <laughs> Well, there's a trigger warning at the beginning of this video. Video is a movie. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We're in the same position on the sofa, but it is much later on the evening. It's pitch black outside now, as you can tell. Hello, little Barney Boo. You cutie pie, we've been out for a nice W. And got home showered, took all my makeup off. I decided not to have a bath, I just ended up having a shower. Um, got ready for an evening of chilling. Re review rating. <laughs> kind of combine the two words there of blink twice loved it i'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because yeah i feel like that's a fair rating i really enjoyed it it's the stereotypical psychological thriller keeps you guessing till the end with a bit of a shock and a twist and yeah really enjoyed it so if you enjoy that kind of thing then would definitely recommend it blink twice channing tatum i do think because uh keeps you guessing and now i know the kind of ending it's one of those movies that i know it now although i do tend to forget the endings of movies but if you could re-watch any movie or tv show for the first time again what would it be i feel like that's a really good question to find out some answers of like recommendations of good tv or series movies whatever it may be if you could watch anything again for the first time what would it be that would be a good one to say actually blink twice because of the like the storyline to it i think mine would be salt then i just really enjoyed it i felt like it was one of those love it or hate it movies with the shock factor you can never get that back again after watching it for the first time so that would probably be my my answer but yeah let me know yours 
you could re-watch anything again for the first time, let me know in the comments below. Now we're just ready to chill out for the rest of the evening, watch some Big Brother in a bit. I'm actually just watching some of um, some YouTube at the moment. But otherwise, just chill. Oh, that pasta. I made the pasta, the pumpkin one. Awful. <laughs> I've literally binned most of it, so that wasn't any good and I don't really have anything else in I thought I'm not gonna order anymore I had a Nando's big lunch so we're all good I'm just snacking on these this is my evening snack of choice cinnamon bun flavored flips these are lovely I'm not even like a big lover of like pretzels but these with the cinnamon bun flavor coating delish I also called up and booked on to horse riding tomorrow which will be fun I'm gonna carry on snacking on these call it a night here with this vlog hope you guys have enjoyed it stay tuned of course for my upcoming gifting content which is next and then we're on to christmas can you believe it but if you have enjoyed this video i would really really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already especially as my schedule might be a little bit altered over the next month or so with vlogmas content gifting content it just it can change a little bit so notification bell on then you'll be notified every single time i upload if it's not my usual wednesday or sunday but next one will be gifting content my gift guides are next so i hope you guys enjoy them and i hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and i will hope to see you all very soon in my next video bye